I'm super proud of myself. So as we continue to uh, divest in things that hurt good people around the world, right? I want for us to reflect real quick, right? Reflect the people in our lives. Hold on. I have no idea where I was going with this real quick. Hold on, let me recenter. Anyway, I guess I really want to talk about the companies that we can actually use in order for us to buy from this year, rather than um, just buying from the companies that, you know, are out here just doing the most and, you know, giving them money towards causes that, you know, people. So anyway, I was looking into this company, right? Um, called Hirbawi. Hirbao, sorry, I'm from the South. Hold on, called Hirbawi. So Hirbawi Kuf Kufia. I'm so sorry, <laughs> so sorry. Uh, but anyway, I was looking at the companies in order for me to support. I looked up a couple of Palestinian people who uh, recommended um, companies to buy for, and here by we is one that offers kufiyas, the original kufiya from Palestine, which I found to be really actually nice. Now, I'm not someone too culture appropriate whatsoever. I don't, I respect other people's cultures. I respect people's ideas and the good intentions that are behind them. And to see that this right here, the fishnet design coupled with everything else that encompasses the kufiya from Palestine made me realize that I can't, I feel like I can't rightfully wear this, but they do have other designs that have like the Palestinian flag and one that is also like um, from different regions of Palestine. I think they have a Hebron one, they have a Gaza one, and a lot of the designs are really beautiful actually like really really beautiful they stay in line with the kufiya aesthetic and design but the, it also just takes a liberty and a freedom that i love to see within people who design and create things and these fabrics just are really really top tier they definitely are i'll put a little something here into uh uh over here at the video you know to let you know what it looks like and look at all the designs however um due to everything that's happening over there uh in the west bank uh also in hebron they are having a hard time even getting anything out um, because also they are under sh 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 uh, occupation and they're being also, you know, not, but you know, you know, um, dang, I really have to, I really hate having to assist myself. It, it, it sucks to do this right here, especially on YouTube. Hello, my forehead is trying to say hello. This thing is hella hot, but it's so comfortable. <laughs> but looking at the designs on the website, it just looks absolutely great. And if you can buy from them, I would definitely say uh, take the time, see if you can get a pre-order in because they may have to start cutting off some pre-orders and start doing some cancellations because the last shipment, they uh, told us during email that they had a hard time getting their product out um, naturally because of what's going on. And while we're having this you know, ceasefire for these four days, uh, ceasefire for four days, I wanted to at least talk about a few Palestinian companies, you know, while we reflect and have conversations with our families um, during this time. I'll tell you a little story time actually in a minute after I tell you about these companies. Um, but Hirbawi is definitely one you should definitely look up and um, see what you can find. Um, pick one that's more suited to your tastes. In fact, they're all very beautiful. From the US to, I believe, Euro conversion, I spent about $48. Take that into consideration when you do buy one, okay? There'll be the conversion rate and the shipping and handling. And I do believe it may come out of, um, it'll come out of some part of Europe. I, I, I guess it'll come out of, um, I'm not sure, honestly. I'll let you know when I get a shipment um, notification about that right there. But definitely look up that company, um, get you a kufia if you can, and continue to stay in solidarity with our brothers and sisters over there in Palestine, okay? Uh, on to the next company. Again, again I'm not a know-it-all, when it comes to these companies right here, but I just wanted to be able to support communities and to support wherever I can. If you have any Congolese businesses that I can support, um, please let me know. I do know of a, a few places, no, well, more specifically, people who aid can directly, you know, help. I also wanna support the Sudanese. If you have anything, please let me know. And the next company is Al Ard. I do believe I said that correctly. If not, you can definitely correct me because um, I'm new to this space. I'm real new. I'm brand new. I'm fresh out the box. So um, apparently they seem to have um, like, you know, herbs, spices, and other products on that you can buy. Because um, if you want to create some traditional Palestinian dishes, why not have authentic traditional, well, authentic products to go along with it right there? I believe they're also, these are all Palestinian companies. I do believe it's like a directory on here as well that lets you know. Let me see, they have olive oil, herbs, and spices. Oh, also the Palestinians have a long history with their olive trees in Palestine. I was looking up a little bit of information up over there and like, it's, it's, it's really beautiful to see the culture of the Palestinians and just 
it's, it's a very beautiful thing to see. It really is to see their, their culture. Even horrible to see it being uprooted and burned and being treated with such disrespect by occupiers. It's, it's disgusting. And they do have a long tradition with olive oil dishes. In fact, like, you know how some some like some people are like, don't eat a whole bunch of olive oil because it'll make you fat because it's like one tablespoon has like 120 calories. These people be drizzling that mug. Be drizzling all that food up in the olive oil. They be like, look, 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 listen. What I do with my olive oil is sacred. That's culture, baby. <laughs> Which I respect. I respect. I really do. Like, you can't. I respect it. I respect. But they do have a lot of other uh, products on here. Uh, tahini. I need to get that. Chili sauce. Uh, gift boxes. They give their little story. Uh, and why buy Palestinian? Um, oh, hold on. There's a little message right here. Uh, due to current global challenges, we are experiencing some delays in our shipment process. But please be sure that we are working tirelessly to minimize these delays and get you your order uh, as soon as possible. So definitely support if you can, babe, support. Definitely lend an ear. And absolutely, if you saw from my last video, use your voice. There is power in the tongue. I don't care how insignificant your voice is. You are alive, you exist, you take up space. Your voice absolutely matters. I'm gonna get out my soapbox real quick, but I'm gonna let you know, hey babe, your, your voice matters, okay? It matters. You definitely matter because you're alive okay all right on to the next thing and the next website i do believe i have is called a muslim diet hold on a muslim dietitian.com you may be able to google them um but they should bring up multiple companies um that you can go and support from um they do have a list of palestinian owned businesses on here that you can also go to which is what i uh, found you can get handmade palestinian products that are clothing and accessories um here Bawi is also up on here um women in hebron um pal box palestinian online store uh a y w a n brand um a1 i believe i don't want to i really don't want to butcher up any names over here because i definitely have a sudden draw and i speak a mile a minute so you know hey bear with me um, Peace Pieces, um, Gelled Shop, uh, You Want Face and Body, um, there's Shop Palestine, Home and Decor, also Shop Palestine, um, Handmade Palestine, uh, let's see, Kitchen and Food, uh, Canaan USA, also Pal Box, and a lot of these websites on here are have multiple uses and can also uh, service a lot of needs um, that you may want. Um, I should have some links in the description to these uh, websites if you do want to check on them for yourself because you know we're buying locally and we're also supporting businesses that don't support schmenish mm, you you know you know we know um and with that being said i hope that um you can definitely shop a palestinian and shop locally do a crafted um christmas if you can and b this is key be bougie because if you're bougie you won't settle for anything less and what is less right now are these companies that do support these horrible uh atrocities across the whole entire world which we definitely should be on our p's and q's like for me i've always been bougie like i'm very selective where i buy i'm selective what i eat i mostly eat things that i cook i mostly i mostly watch my hair pockets go into my head if it's not naturally derived oils from let me see um i usually buy bulk products honestly because i do make my own body butters i started using palmers because i was like my skin is too good i make my own body butters i make my own shimmer body oils i make my own because i am worth it and there's a quality that cannot be met when it comes to a lot of these companies because they cut corners babe they cut corners and when you're bougie like that you gotta like that whether you're on a budget or somewhere else you can definitely achieve any type of level of bougie you want because it is top tier your bougie is top tier no matter where you may sit in your tax bracket okay keep that in mind oh i did mention a little story time that i was going to tell you so um <clears throat> yeah today of course it's thanksgiving my papa um was telling me that he finally uh saw the light when it came to the conflict over there i'm gonna call it the conflict uh when it came to the shmanish that's going over there in palestine um we were having on off on like on again off again conversations and to see that he would not listen to reason was very troubling um he's gen x that is not saying anything to his generation at all but i'm just saying you know just for fun fact uh he is he's gen x and I got him to see 
that I was correct the whole entire time because what's going on in the media right now is that they literally can cover up the lies that Izzy is talking about. They literally can't. They can't cover up a single thing. And to be lying on such a huge level right here in front of Gen uh, Z and millennials is quite telling. It really is. And they can't cover up what they're saying. And the lies are just out there and even my parents who are Gen X was like, hold on, we've definitely been lied to. And to all the Gen Xers and even boomers who are in tune with their social media and aren't giving into propaganda so very easily, bless you, bless your heart and bless your soul. I'm glad you are staying informed in these chaotic times. Thank you from the bottom of my soul, thank you. Again, every voice matters. But <clears throat> back to what I was talking about, um, we talked for about two hours about what was going on over there. And I was like, I tried to lead you to a waterfall to quench your thirst. You would not drink. I told you the truth and you rejected me. I'm like, I, I know how Jesus felt. Cause like people will try to ax you out of their life. If you tell the truth, no one likes to hear the truth. No one does. It's whatever spirit that is on that person that makes them feel that way. Because you're not warring against like flesh. You're warring against spirits. And whatever spirit is on that person has them. Whether you come with the spirit of truth or the Holy Spirit, they will fight against you. I don't know what it is, what kind of spirit that's on them that makes them fight that way, but they, it gets knuck, it gets knuck, knuck a buck for real. It really do. And they will try to fight you to for nail so that it won't learn the truth. But whatever spirit was on him when it came to that right there, whether it be the spirit of ignorance or one of desolation and despair, don't know, was on him, it is gone now. <laughs> thank God but he is now pro-Palestine and our conversations um going forward will be much more much more better I told him that we're boycotting we're divesting I already have my money in a credit union I've been that way since I would say since 2013 so again I'm not new to this bougie lifestyle I'm very much true to it and I do get my bougie from my dad fun fact <laughs> but yeah I got through to him and if you think that someone in your life can't be reached with your voice please um do what you can because your voice absolutely matters it really does I can't stress that enough to you I really can't I personally love to talk and I love to get my point across and when I get into the zone and if a spirit flows through me then there's really nothing that I can't do but that's me that's specifically me everyone has their goals everyone has their strengths and their abilities and can channel energies in whatever way they can so with that being said, I got my parents to see the light and we're now on good talking terms when it comes to Palestine and we support the Palestinians, we support the Congolese, we support the Sudanese, and we want liberation for everyone across the globe. Global liberation is the key. It absolutely is. And I'm glad we can have this talk. I'm really glad because um, I know that we're in this four day pause. Um, we still have a whole bunch of work to do, but I want to keep it a little bit light. I want to keep it a little bit, you know, a little fresh, give you a little bit of, you know, the waters of life, you know, um, cause usually for my normal doom and gloom content, it's, well, not normal doom and gloom. Uh, it's kind of become normalized, but I just wanted to come to you and be happy at least for today. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that, um, your voice matters. Continue to use it in whatever way you can. Um, you were valid and use that voice. Okay, so um, tell my little story. Please support Palestinian um, businesses if you can um, and be conscious and shop consciously. Be hella bougie though, that's the <laughs> bottom line. Be hella bougie. Um, I'll, I'll coach you through that if you need a little bit of help. Let me know if you'd like some tips on being bougie. I do believe I have about maybe three or four videos on here. I don't know. I could have done it, possibly. I learned a little bit from Chopper too. <laughs> anyway, um, it's wonderful talking to you today. I'm glad we had this little conversation. If you stick around for this long, we're here. I hope you got a little bit of laugh. Um, but in the meantime, I'll talk to you later or whenever I can or whenever I see. All right, later. <laughs>